Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and it's been a little while since I've played Blasphemous, so let's see if we can't get back into this and figure out what was going on. Our Lady of the Charred Visage. Oh yeah, so we just finished up with with the melty one. And now it's time to... Yep, there you are. Now it's time to just try to move on from here. Where am I? Alright, what's over here? That's good to know. Don't know what that means, but okay, we definitely want this. Because I like ranged attacks. Damn, 7,000 for that? Okay, well, we definitely want that. And that's... All right, that's definitely worthwhile. All right, so that's looking that's looking pretty tasty now that we've got more sword techniques. Ugh. Yeah, it's what you get. I need to save up a save up a cool seven grand. Mmm, juicy. Sorry, I'm practicing that crouch cancel. I've got on what I want. Pardon me. Just finished eating, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm if I'm <laughs> a little gross. I can use the control pad for this. I didn't even know. All right, well. Uh, take that. Now, I marked that with a question mark. I'm hoping that that means something. As you can see, it's been a little bit, so... Yes, I would like the wind to continue to push my penitent fat ass. Wow, I can't even get there from here. What do I think I'm doing? No, I say. No. Bad undead specter. Well, I am just kind of 
<laughs> pulling myself back into it. Oh, why button? Dude, dude. I know things. down to the bottom to continue to get rid of the guilt for my life's work. go up from here. It would seem as though there is. Wind! Okay, fine. Wind don't guide me. Geez, see if I care. Alright, I know. I have an idea of what I need to get through there, but I obviously don't have it yet. So, we're just gonna... Wait on that. There we go. Ow. Ooh, that attack is strong. its strength is variable. <sighs> yeah, that's working. Eat that! Damn! He blocked that too. Can I parry your shit? No, but I can block it. Mega Man! Not sure if Mega Man is the first character to have a sliding a sliding move, but it's the first one that I know of that has a sliding move. And it's become so ingrained with Mega Man's identity that Mega Man X doesn't even do it. Yeah! But you thought I was going to say something a little different. I feel the desire to kill everything I see. Actually, yes, I do. It's to make sure that I have more... more fun money. Whatever it's called. I mean, marks of absolution or something along those lines? I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about you. Hang on, how do I get back up there now? I guess we've got to go around the long way. Okay, I think you're so clever throwing rocks. So close. Alright, maybe from the... Yeah, I can reach it from the other side. I just have to, you know, get there without dying. 
Hold on, there's ground down here. Okay, now I really am confused. How do I get there? Yeah, nice and nice planting your sword into the nothing there, penitent one. God, I'm so close. I feel like I should be able to reach that. Await those who are patient. I feel like I'm going to be annoyed when I when I figure out what the secret to this spot is. Alright, what happens if I just jump? Nothing. Cool. Alright, well I might just have to come back for this one. You know, just a little cleanup. So, okay, we did a good, right? So, what happens if I leave the screen and then go back in? Oh, there we go. And there's no face anymore. Frozen olive. All right, what does a frozen olive do? So low, so low HP equals higher, higher defense. All right. I mean, at least I know I did a good. That's all that really matters. Whoop. And I'll have to figure out that whole, you know, roots and patience thing later. As of right now, I think our next our next goal is right there. We are not capable of going any further in that direction. Come on. Yeah, don't you feel silly now? Give me, give me your marks. Yeah, your, your holy Deutsch marks. That's what I want. Again, this would be so much easier if there was fast traveling, but this game thinks that the fast traveling is for chumps. Either that or I'm a complete fucking idiot and I just don't know where the fucking fast travel rooms are. See, that's kind of what's keeping me from really enjoying Blasphemous is that Going back and forth across the same area like 30 times is, I mean, believe it or not, it's not that much fun. Like, I feel like I'm just missing things and I can't possibly begin to tell you where. Anything in here that I should be concerned with? I don't know how much I'm supposed to donate there. Or if I'm supposed to donate anything there. It just feels... Like, everything feels off.
like, wouldn't it make sense if there was a fast travel point here? Like, in, in this house somewhere? See, do I have any more bone fragments to give to this guy? Tears of Atonement? Ooh. The bones, thank you for your help. Bring the bones before me. Alright, well, what are Tears of Atonement? Like, no, seriously, what, what are Tears of Atonement? I seem to... I, again, I feel stupid because I don't know what this is supposed to do, but it's important. It's important enough that they had to give me like a <clears throat> they had to give they had to give me like a little fanfare about it, but now I have no idea what it does. Like, I don't necessarily need the game to tell me everything, but just some guidance would be nice. Okay, and then I can't go any further this direction, which is telling me that's probably the fast travel room, but I can't enter it. Because, you know, I'm not good enough. And... Okay, smart. And yeah, I know I'm kind of harping on about the whole... About this whole thing maybe a little bit more than I should. But, I mean, it... To me, it makes sense to talk about because if it's something that's ruin... That's kind of ruining your enjoyment of a game, shouldn't that be something that you talk about? Bring me anything that... Okay, well, you apparently can't bless Tears of Atonement. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look up to see what exactly... what exactly that item does. You would think I would know, but... No, not that smart. All right, well, enough complaining. Let's Let's move on to where we know we're supposed to be. Oh, take that. Let's see. Not through this room. Oh, wait, do I have do I have the means by which to increase the... Oh, well, that, 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 <clears throat> that sacrifices, that answers that. But I don't have Quicksilver. Bring me the Quicksilver. Okay, questions answered. So why can't I see it in my menu? I'll never understand. It's better. <laughs> Boy, someone needs some anger management lessons.
No, sir. We are in, we are abusing those invincibility frames. He just melts. Alright, well, not going that way. Wow, that was completely unnecessary. Light this up. Put you out of your misery. Oh, shit! If you want to know what the biggest problem in that spot was, it was definitely it was definitely the spear guys. Oh, you deserve this. You are carrying a Castlevania boomerang. That couldn't in, in any possible way make me feel nervous at all. Though by my estimation you have about four and a half hit points, so... Oh, things are going on. Okay. Defeat Perpetua. All right. I have no available offerings. Well, that just seems terrible. What does this do? Ribbon of crimson cloth carefully rolled and still scented with ancient oils. Members of the Anointed Legion wrap their bodies in blah, 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 blah. Oh, protection against lightning. Alright. Obviously, by the idea that I just unlocked that achievement, I hadn't done that before. Oh, you're a talkie boy. A penitent one. We traverse strange roads under the same firmament. With nigh other trade, nigh other name. My name is Redento, barefoot pilgrim of the Order of the Genuflectors. Pay attention, this will be on the test. Prithee taketh nigh a front in my not looking at thy visage. For we at each moment lean forth, so as not to divert our eyes from the path. Such is our old precept. We are before Hondo, the great buried bell, erected upside down so that its ringing would make the earth tremble and reach distant lands. Yeah, because that's how sound waves work. Now Hondo resoundeth in a deep triune moan that traveleth in echoes through its broad spiraling circles. So are you trying to tell me that Hondo is, um, you know, having fun there? My feet wish to cross to the other side of this ancient valley to move on to the next destination. I'm looking to go to Philadelphia. Oh, my sins. Who could help me? Oh, tall guy with a sword and a pointy hat that's half his height? I mean, that's just a guess.
All right, down the ladder we go. Okay, so that is not an enemy, that is an obstacle. Remember, always be hitting walls. Knock it off. Carlos, the executioner. Hi, my name is Carlos. I'm going to be your executioner, eh? Wait, he's both Spanish and Canadian? Oh, it's your doing. Oh. Just attacked right the hell past her. Strange creatures. And actually, for those of you who know your history of the Christian faith, this is apparently pretty close to what angels originally looked like. Well, you're no fun. Alright, so getting up to that treasure chest is going to be the real trick. How does one make this happen? Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Knock it off, lady. And just like when you rest at a bonfire, all the enemies are back. Okay, that works. And so did the penitent one slap a bell with grates in it. And yay, did the disciple say it will make a noise and break something on the other side of the wall. Now, would you say that that was unnecessary? Well, that was unnecessary. I thought that was a semi-solid platform. Goes to show what I know. So we'll go we'll go the slightly harder way. <sighs> All right, so let's let's rethink our plan here. We need to keep going this way because that way is momentarily inaccessible. Hey, 
It has happened again! More striking of the bells with grates in them! I remember always be hitting walls, so you never know when they're going to hide something from you. And even though the the breakable wall thing works, let's be fair, it doesn't happen as often as it does in The Last Faith. Okay. Oh, we're not going to be able to make that. Let's just keep going. They call him Wiggly Chains. I had completely forgotten that you could do that. Again, just being thorough. Can't say that you've hit all the secrets if you didn't look for them all. Even then, I'm probably still gonna have to look up a guide to find them all because... Frankly, some of the shit in this game is particularly well hidden. Oh. Well, that was fun. This room can suck my ass. I believe the game designers would call that fun with knockback. Because that is what that entire room is. It's just, oh, what's that? You don't like knockback? Well, fuck you. Here's all of it. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to reach that from here, and let's be fair, we are already guilty over our bad gameplay, so we don't want to be any more guilty. Alright, hold on, let's go the other way. I want to get that guilt fragment back. In case you're wondering why I did that a second time, I did not go all the way up to the top of that elevator and try striking the walls, so... Alright, we're back! This time, let's take things just a little bit more carefully. My boy, did you just throw that backwards? That is a dirty, dirty trick on your behalf. 
I would ask you to atone for your sins, but it looks like the miracle has already decided that it wanted to have its way with you. John the Gambler. Oh, well, I mean... We don't even need to talk about your sin. You, you fall victim to the sunk cost fallacy. Ow. That's about enough out of you, sister. Empty bile vessel. Ooh. Very nice, but I mean, I still need quicksilver. Oof. Okay, that was perilous. Madam, I'm going to need to ask you to knock that off. And now you know what their walk cycle looks like. And, uh, yeah, ridiculous. Damn it, I'm like a millimeter off. That's too high again. Never mind, I can hit it. Yay! Not of rosary rope. Oh, do I have the means to use that now? Because I wouldn't mind having it. All right, I got to talk to someone to use it. All right, so let's have a look around, make sure I'm not missing anything. And yes, I know that there's, you know, Chaney Boy that I have to hit down there, but... First, to make sure that I found everything I can here before... Because I'm pretty sure that it's going to change the state of the level if I just smash... Smash that statue too quickly. So I want to make sure I have everything I can before I do that. Hang on.
Got him. Slap. I might just be completely off my meds. I'm not, by the way. But wasn't there a treasure chest in here? Where there is a treasure chest in this room somewhere. what I get for not paying attention. Bump. Oh, wait, no, the treasure chest was over here, wasn't it? It was like in one of those two areas. Okay, never mind. Leading myself on a wild goose chase at this point. Bile vessel. Oh, thou art the answer to my prayers. The order thanketh thee. With thine aid. It is of little use for me to remain here. Go with the Father, O penitent one. Fourth toe made of limestone. Interesting. What do you do? Reduces dodging cooldowns. I like that. And it is at the very least more useful than the moss preserved in grass, at least for a time. And now if we go back down here, yes, that is what I was talking about. All right, yeah, you know what? It was worth trying just once.
But no, that is not how you get to that treasure chest. Alright, well, for starters, let's mark it on the map. Basically, right there. Alright, cool. It's marked now. All right, so let's go grab my guilt fragment. Hey, get back here. Now we'll go back over to the other side. So according to the map, there is a way to go up from over here. I'm going to have a quick look at that. All right. Not at all hard to do. Clove. I don't know what that does, but... Oops. Almost at 7,000. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Interesting. So now I can do that, which, you know. Oh, I need so many marks of atonement. 7,000 for that. 8,000 for that. Holy crap. This only costs 2,700, though, so we'll grab this. Oh my god, a fast travel point. What is this mayhem? Yes, I will give you the dried clove. Merciful be, penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. Nice. Thank you very much. I also have a bouquet of thyme. I think you want that as well. 
merciful be. Another tier of atonement. My goodness. Alright, so I was right. That locked off room was a fast travel point. Or warp room. Depending on how many... Depending on how many Castlevania games you've played that use the whole Metroidvania formula. Yump. Hi. Do not fear my body, through which so much lightness and darkness pass, nor my visage, which appears disfigured from behind these golden bars. Hanging cages. Man, some people will think of anything to torture a, bear, a person. Soledad, by name. Hello, Soledad. I looked up on the orders of his holiness in this cage. That the miracle then proceeded to decorate. Proceeded to decorate? And I don't know about you, but I don't see any Christmas lights in there. I think you got gypped. The high will has granted me the opportunity to help you while my body remains a blue flame. You gotta feel bad. Like, there's no way that, that that's what I was intended for her. Sleeping. Until you hand the knots over to me, so that my hands of smoke may tie them, thus expanding the mysteries of your rosary. So you're saying that I bring you knots of rosary rope, and then you make it, then you make it so I have more questions about it? God, that's weird. Now let my fingers tie a new mystery. Do you have more knots for me, penitent one? I guess I did have another one. Return once you possess new rosary knots to thread. May your heart be free of sin. Alright, well, let's see what I can equip now. So this one is strictly protection from lightning. Defense up when when <clears throat> when my health is low. That one's interesting. Blue wax is nice. Protection from fire. Just defense up. You can get tears of atonement <clears throat> when destroying an object, okay. Grants fervor when destroying objects, okay. Recovers health when destroying surrounding objects, that's about the most useful one so far. This apparently does nothing. Okay, so Immaculate Bead, I have to look that up and see what its deal is. Resistance to falls, eliminating recovery time, that's nice for speed running. Hmm. Protection against magic. Okay, so not all of these are all that useful. It's like that one and just a plain old defense up seem to be about the best thing we have at the moment. But still, it's better than we had before. Oh, hey, look who it is. Bitter moments reunite us again, Penitent One. An unsurmountable wall seemeth to interpose itself between our feet and our holy destinations. And not just my feet, but the rest of me as well! Will there ever be a blessing that save us from this sorrow? Oh, earthquake. Oh, let's go in here and see if there's anything. Map not available. Oh, you terrible people. All right, well, this is here for a reason. <laughs> Am I supposed to go down there? Guess so. All right, I'm feeling a platforming challenge is upon us.
Okay, I see what I did wrong there. At least I didn't die. Alright, well that wasn't so hard. <sighs> Beautiful, I love it. I'm not worthy of thine infinite compassion. Blessed are those of us who find it. I will pray for thee and thank the master for his holy encounter. Now my feet are marching towards holy prohibitions. How can a simple pilgrim advance through such fortification? By moving your ass. Eternal father, O oh master of pilgrims, how arduous are your upcoming trials. It is of little use for me to... I mean, he's right. What's over here? Oh, I speak to you when I'm apparently feeling really guilty about things. Alright, well that starts to alleviate some of the problems that I've been having. And it makes me feel just a little bit stronger. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this round of Blasphemous. Having found two more Rosary Knots, just, I don't know, it's, it makes me feel empowered. So, like I said, I think we're going to call it good there. Of course, I want to thank you guys for having patience with me while I've been essentially getting myself the will to play the game again. And I know that sounds bad, but I was getting really upset about the lack of fast travel and warp points. Now that I've at least found one, I feel a little better about that, so hopefully we can find some more and really get moving on trekking through this world. So thank you very much for coming and spending some of your free time here with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you may happen to be, and I will catch you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and take care, everybody.